It shouldn't have ended like that. It's annoying when that happens, right? Like when a team is getting dominated and then them boys were about to start putting their subs in and shit. Like them boys were chilling. Like, like they were vibing. Did you know English is a Germanic language? Interesting. I just English is weird. English is a derivative. English is a derivative of German, and a sister language of Dutch. This girl walked up to me and asked me, "Where did you get that in Dutch?" And I knew what the fuck she said. She's like, "Are you even getting that?" She's like, "Well, like just." <laughs> I'll do it again for you. Ready? Oh, I, 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 can be giving these performances for free, dog. Come on. Bro. Yes, yo, 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 yo. One of the last episodes this season of The Kickoff Lounge. Your boy Al Pizzle. And your boy Big Miles. We in here. Oh man, it is officially the MLS Cup final. It's in this bit. It's here. It's upon us. It's been a whole season, man. What a roller coaster ride. Um, a team that I did not believe in most of the year, even though they won the championship last year. Yeah. Um, and a team that, honestly, I don't think anybody sleeper. said that they were going to... Straight sleeper, dog. Yo, to make LAFC it all the way. and Columbus, bro. I mean, LAFC, they had the defending champs. But like we said, nobody saw anything from them the whole season. They was kind of slacking, bro. They was looking like, like, okay, we're not scared of you. But they found their way to the final again. And I told you, defending yep. champ, get to the final... If that game gets sticky, they're going yep. to figure it out. That experience kicked in, and you exactly. did call it, man. That yeah. experience was a huge help for LAFC, and they comfortably won that game, honestly. <sighs> it was. I was watching it, and I, I low-key fell asleep on the game because it, it was wasn't domination. Good? It was yeah. just like it, there was Houston didn't seem to have a fighting chance, mm. at least for the whole second half. It was just like a second goal was inevitable yeah. from LAFC. Mm. And it's like the, the most Houston was going to get was like consolation. Crazy. And we're going to dive deep into uh, that LAFC game too in just a bit. But man, we got to give a big shout out to the East Coast, man. Whoo! Patrick Schulte, dog. What a game, dog. Yeah, oh my God, man. Yeah. Yeah. Stood on his head that second half versus Cincy. Stood on business. Went from goalkeeper of the year in MLS Next Pro, MLS Next Pro champion last year. To Eastern Conference champion this bro. year, and dare I say, the MVP of the Eastern Conference Finals, man. Facts, bro. Facts. Yeah. I mean, bro. Yo, since he was had that game on lock, I, like I, we said after air, off, we said it off air. Yeah. Um, since he got second goal, it was like, all right, that looked like a dagger. I was like, okay, it's over after this. And it was a nasty and goal, man. Lucha was, Costa that MVP dirty, with that free kick. Oh my ass goal, bro. God, dog. Dog. There's <sighs> no way, like. There's no way anyone could have predicted that that outcome at all. And there's no way it would have happened without a solid goalkeeper performance. Like there's no cuz bro, you yeah. got to keep him out. Yeah, yeah, scoring those three goals to come back is one thing, but you got to make sure they don't score no more cuz you ain't going to pull a Barca and come back on six goals. Oof. You know what I mean? <laughs> like you, I mean, never say never, man. But it, it ain't. Uh... <laughs> like we said off air, Bar like no one's going to do that that kind of a comeback for a long time. And like that was that you, Barca was down against PSG with 5-1? 5 yeah, yeah. Oh my God, yeah, bro. so you Four don't want, like, when you're crazy. trying to come back, you don't want to dig yourself a deeper hole. Facts. So the keeper's performance is essential. Facts. Like, hey, man, and it was just, you're down 2-0. Cincy looked like they were cruising in the first half, man. They knocked in that second goal to kind of just hit them in their hearts, man, going into halftime. Second half starts. It's 2-0. Yo, Cincy's still coming, dog. They still going at it, man. Yeah. They still taking chances. They have opportunity. Yeah. But, like, I'm talking about, like, throughout the whole season, they were scoring these, man. Absolutely. But sometimes, man, like something is just something just happens to the goalkeeper of the other team that absolutely nothing can get through him, bro. That keeper turned it up, bro. That keeper turned it up, and it's man. Patrick Schulte was amazing, man. And hey, man, better for players to stay in club academy could be, you know, like he's definitely proving that he's homegrown. You feel me? Yeah. Um, they didn't really have to outsource to find a solid keeper like that. They didn't have to fucking spend all this money like on an Onana. Yeah. You know? Man, what a bad project. Your are couple, couple days. His last couple ga games have been really shaky. Like, he really. Has, he's been having some really bad terrible, blunders, dog. Terrible. But like consistently, though. I know. And it's like, you know, Ten, Ten Hag is like, no, he'll come around. He'll be fine. I don't know, man. But I'm not going to lie, bro. Some of these times like that he's had these blunders, yeah. he shouldn't have been getting shot at. You know what I mean? Like, you got to look at the defense, too. But that's man U defense, like, though, man. But that, that's a problem. <laughs> it's a problem. That's man, that's man U defense. Yeah. You know what I mean? I don't know, man. So, but 
it, it goes to show, man, that you don't have to spend all the highest money in the world to get quality players. And it goes to show that quality is continuing to grow here in the United States of America. Yeah, bro. I mean, mm. in all sports, uh, we're seeing a whole lot of different routes now to the major leagues. And, you know, I mean, we're seeing it now in the, in the NBA. There's a whole lot of different routes and just going yeah. the traditional college route. And Facts. Now MLS has this next pro thing. Yeah. And it's like there's another way to filter new talent in. And it's Facts. bro, it's dope for us because we're gonna start getting a lot of different looks at different guys that yep. they might not have made it at the D one level. And it's not because of skill, it's yeah. like politics and all these other things, bro. Mm. Like there, sometimes there's just not enough room for every good keeper, every good striker at a major D1 school that they're, they're recruiting from. Yo, it's even harder you know I mean? for a keeper, man, for exactly. a good keeper to stand out, dog. I mean, like, at least when you're on the field, there's 10 of y'all, you know? Facts. There's one goalkeeper one on keeper. the field, man. Yeah, so you mess up, That's it, it. looks terrible. It you have a great horrible. game, it looks great, but, like, bruh, it's just, there's, like, especially at the keeper position, there's not that much room, like I said, on, on, on a lot of rosters. So now they're mm. just giving more room for different players to shine. Bro, we got a lot of dudes in the next pro that are around the same age with a relative skill level. Yep. So, yep. A, it might be a, a lot of next pro guys coming up. Facts, man. USL is popping too right now, man. And listen, like, if you're not getting no playing time, like, on an MLS bench or even a next pro bench, bro, like, that, like you said, there are many other routes aside from the college route, man. Yeah. And even aside from MLS Next Pro, you could go the semi-pro route, man. Yeah. You get playing time, you're going to get better, bro. Yeah. The way you get better is by playing. Yeah. You don't just 100%. magically just get better out of nowhere just yeah, by sitting yeah. on your ass, you feel me? Uh, it's exciting times, man. Exciting times in U.S. soccer. Patrick Schulte, big time shout outs to you. You are absolutely a big reason as to why your Columbus crew is going. I'm not going to lie. To the MLS Cup final. I'm not going to lie. Like You think Columbus going to do it? Orlando losing to the best in the East kind of gives me a little bit of like, you know, it makes me feel a little bit better. Mm. Like. Columbus showed they the best in the East they with this. They showed. They and, showed. And the keeper standing on business like this against the best team in the league. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's, it's I always want to, yo, my, I always want my team to lose in the playoffs against who is about to win the whole thing. The whole thing. thing. And you know? now Columbus has a chance to, to win the whole thing. So if we yeah. say, you know, the only team that, that really messed with us was the eventual champions. Yo, that, I'm fucker, yo. Yeah. I'll be cool with that, man. Yeah, I'm like, cool with that anytime. All right, all right, cool. Shit. Hey, man, big news in messy <sighs> league soccer. And the other Florida team. The messy league, the messy effect is continuing even while he's not playing, even while he's doing 10 chin-ups and struggling with it. But you know what? Sometimes you just need 10 chin-ups and that's it, bro. Facts. That's all you need when you're messy, you feel me? Yeah, man. His boy, his brother, one of his best friends in life. Luis Suarez. Is joining Inter Miami. Welcome, Luis Suarez, to the MLS, man. man oh, my God. They just... They Crazy. might as well just change it to Barca, Miami, bro. Yo, like, what are we doing right what now? <laughs> what up, are we doing? Right what now? an upgrade, man! From Joseph, Joseph Martinez, Martinez, he's gone. Yeah. That's, he's washed Duh. now. Um, to Luis Suarez, who's just <laughs> been killing it at Gremio, dog. Did you saw like one of his last Disgusting, games? Bro. They were down like what three one, and then he came into the game as a sub, scored a hat trick in like eighteen minutes. I'm like hold my beer. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go do this. This is a real professional quick. league, dog, so, in South America. I'm Luis Suarez. Literally fool. hold like, my beer. <laughs> like I'm Luis Suarez, fool. Like I don't yeah. care. That was gonna come sauce up. I already could see him with that little freaking with the with the bite face that he's making, like he's about to bite the ball and yo. score. <laughs> In, Inter Mi yo, this is what Inter Miami was missing, man. Like yeah. a solid nine, bro. You know how they say Michael Jordan when he played tongue out? Yeah. Swatters plays teeth out, bro. <laughs> <laughs> My dog about to go teeth out on these boys That's and just hilarious. score dumb you, goals in the stupid. league. You <laughs> stupid, man. That's cr I can't believe he, that really happened, too, hey, man. Hey, bro, he bit someone, so he go get all these jokes, bro. Yeah, <laughs> you he, know what I'm saying? He really did. And now, it wasn't just like in some club game. He did it in the World Cup, man. Yeah. That's wild, man. But yeah. regardless, man, I'm, I'm sure. I don't know, man. He be weird the way he be acting, man, like with the refs, man, with against, with against opponents. The way that he be fighting people, man, and arguing people, like, hey, man, the, right. South Americans be different, bro. They be they be a different animal, man. But yeah. you know what? Like, it, it works for him. He's still balling at his age. Hopefully, if they can stay healthy all year, you know, Miami can really do some damage, bro. Uh, what you thinking, bro? MLS Cup appearance? Are, are they winning any silverware next year? Think about the roster, bro. You got... Players like Kamal Miller in the back, solid defender. Inconsistent, you know, though. And, uh, Inconsistent, He's though. been their best defender. We talked though. about him having the mistake alarm. Every time you mention him being good, he makes a mistake. I know. Well, he's not playing right now, <laughs> yeah, so you yeah, know yeah. he got time. He got time to fix that up. You got Drake Callender, who's 
you know, yeah, U.S. men's right. national team call up. Right Drake. There. Drake. Drake. Uh, man, you got obviously Busquets. You got Jordi Alba. Now you got yeah, right. you got uh, Campana, who honestly I still think is solid. There's a solid backup for Suarez now. For Facts. Sure. Um, you got Suarez up top now, and of course you got the goat, the goat. Messi. Like, and you got you got uh, the Finnish Neymar running the wing. Mm. Robbie Taylor. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, he's yeah. good. He's I'll good. I fuck with Robbie he's Taylor, very good, and he be balling for Scotland too, man. Yeah. He be balling in the national Finland. league. Is it Finland? Yeah. Tomato, 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 tomato. One of one of those lands. One of those. One of those lands over there in Europe somewhere. One yeah. of those. Is it Finland? I thought it was Scotland. No, it's Finland. Finland. Really? Yeah. Nah. Yeah. I'm googling it. How sure are you? I'm. A hundred. Telling you, he's. hundred percent. He is finished. He's finished. Yes. No, we did speak about that. Yes. Yeah, because finished. Okay, I remember that. Yeah, Luis Suarez, the finished finisher. The finished finisher. It's hilarious. <laughs> Welcome to MLS, Luis Suarez. And yo, talking about his teammate, Lionel Messi, who be just going to just random bakeries and cafe shops in Miami, bro. just casually. You Here, saw that? Yeah, I I believe it. Bro, he's Argentino, bro. Like, he got to have his mate with his hot bread and, you know, or his cafecito. He's got to have those things, he, bro. He, he just be out there. Like, he's bro. not the biggest star in the world, man. It's just Literally. Messy. Yo, he's a celebrity in Miami. And Being not, a celebrity in Miami is like, okay. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and not just in Miami, dog, but obviously even more stamped in the world. He is officially Lionel Messi, Time Magazine Athlete of the Year. Well deserved, bro. We're not surprised, man. Come on. Come I mean, on, there, bro. There's a lot of things that's happened in the last year. Bro, the World Cup was literally this time last year. Right. He Crazy. won, he, bro, he won the biggest trophy Put him on a in back, sports. On his back. And he put the team on his back to do it at 35 years old, dog. Like, what? Come on. Like, the last, probably his last kick at the World Cup. I mm. mean, who knows with him? Like, he might be there next time. But quite possibly his last kick at the World Cup. Never won it. Went to the final. Almost won it. Didn't win it in 2014. And he gets to run it back. Yeah, How many man. people go to two finals in their life? Man, not First many of all, go to one. <laughs> exactly. How many people can go to two? Especially, Oof. you know, what I mean, carrying the team. Crazy. Went At the, 36 years old, 30, 35. Bro, and then won it. Scored two goals in the final. Crazy, dog. Come man. on, dog. And Come then, on, man. And just a few months later after that, man, after he won Argentina's first World Cup in over four decades. He just decides, you know what? I'm going to take the USA by storm. Literally. I'm going to Miami, <laughs> dog. I'm take over the U.S. I'm going to join the worst team in the MLS and have a great time on the beach with my family. Wow. And just, I got nothing to prove now. Wow. I just want to keep on playing and having fun and still competing at, at, at some sort, at some level. But I, I'm in there, though, man. Yeah. To the USA messy win, bro. There's a lot of incredible moments since he's joined MLS, Facts. man. Bro, the free kick against Cruz Azul. Bro, oh, Braun, man. Kim Kardashian sitting game. there at Dry Pink Stadium. Bro. I saw that live, bro. Like, to people oh questioning God. why Messi would win this acknowledgement, to, to the people saying, oh, they didn't make the playoffs. Oh, uh, what's the big deal? Bro, it boils down to one word. Mm. Impact. Bro. Yep. He Facts. has impact on the field no matter what team he's playing for. He's going to impact the game. He's going to do shit like that free kick. He's going to do shit like, you know, yep. take them to the Leagues Cup. He's going to do shit like win a World Cup. Yep. Messi got impact on the field, and then he showed you his off-the-field impact when he came to the U.S. Full. Like, Facts, man. Bro, the economy, real estate prices, Boom. everything is booming. Boomed. Crazy. Like, Apple. Come on, bro. Like he, Apple. His contract was crazy, too, man. Yeah, bro. Getting paid by Adidas, getting paid by MLS, by all the teams. Now, he doesn't even get paid by one team. Like, every MLS team has a messy Cut fee. Cut that boy a check. Literally a messy fee. Every single team in the MLS, bro. That and Apple paying him as well. Uh, on the day of his first game, Apple had over 100,000 new subscribers. Yep. Crazy, man. Well, we one of them, aren't we? <laughs> yeah, literally. Facts. T bro, ticket prices done going up. Yo. Bro, like, it's just... Bro, he's had such a crazy impact. It's, yeah, man. I mean, and, 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 and it's messy. he just balled out from the jump, bro. Ten yeah. goals in his first seven games. Went on to win the League's Cup while in the in the regular season in MLS, they were in last place. Whew. Yeah, what, like honestly, no Messi. Where, did the, where does that team end up in League's Cup? I think they lose to Orlando, honestly. They, yeah, 100%. They lose, like yeah. they might, maybe wouldn't even beat Cruz Azul, bro. Yeah. They might not have got past that game, but into that next game, Orlando would have touched them, would have beat them. They're just, there's just no way that they would have made the finals, bro. No, no. Like there's I said, no they would have been out in one of those first couple rounds. Bro. No possible 100%. way, man. Greatest living soccer player ever, bro. 100%. What a story. What a moment, man. Like, that was a moment, dog. Yeah. Like, when we found out that, oh, shit. Messi's coming. 
to the U.S. And then, oh, shit, Messi's coming to Miami, dog. Bro, the, Insta- the Instagram page. Crazy. Freaking five million new followers Crazy, in a couple days. Crazy, dog. Like, and it, yo. Boom. Man, yep. congrats to Messi. Officially Time Magazine Athlete of the Year, man. Hey, man, moving forward, though, MLS. Swag's been on a thousand, man. One thing I like about MLS that they've been really stepping up their game in lately has been the way we look, yeah. right? In terms of uniforms. Everything. In terms of fields, in terms of stadiums. I like the logo. The new logo's cool. I li- I love the new logo, man. Yeah. And in terms of soccer balls on the pitch, the match yeah, balls, bro. right? Like, if you really grew up playing soccer and loving soccer, you knew that the design of the ball was always a special thing. It's, yeah, bro, it's important. World, you remember you remember different tournaments and yeah. different games by the ball sometimes. Facts. Like, you see the ball, like, bro, if you see... The freaking the team geist from German Germany 06. You see yeah. that ball? You instantly remember some of the goals scored with it. Mm. The Jabalani. We were talking about the Jabalani, bro. You yep. instantly can remember like certain highlights and stuff just because you look at the ball. Amazing, bro. So the Amazing. new yeah, the new MLS ball, bro. New year, new swag. I like it, bro. Yeah? I like it. You rocking with it, bro? Yeah, it's cool. This is hard, man. It's cool, bro. I like this, man. We it's gonna be like somewhere around here. Champ gonna put Yo, this is hard, man. Yeah, no, it's clean. I like all the colors to it, man. It, it, it's so I, I don't was, even know how to explain it. It's like Champ said it's very 90s. It reminds yeah. me of like the, the windbreaker kind of style. Yeah, a bunch of random designs and color patterns and stuff yeah. with all their normal info. And I was saying um, what I see is I see almost every team's colors are kind of somewhere dripped on there. A like little bit. Somehow, little some bit. way. Like whatever your colors are, you can some, somewhere find it on the ball. Then Orlando City sticking Orlando, out like crazy. Yeah. Hey, Orlando's right Jeez. there, front and center. My dog. You gotta zoom in on that one. You know, you got all the yellow teams and you got all the red, blue, all the different little shades. I yeah. don't see no pink though. I don't. Oh, maybe it's the angle of the pictures. Yeah, yeah. They're like, all right, we've given enough promo to uh, enter Miami over the season. Let's exactly. Show they some don't, love we to don't the other need ones. to put pink on the ball, bro. Just shit, put Messi on the facts, ball. Man. Like you said, just type Messi. On Yo, the ball. facts. Put his face on it, dog. <laughs> sell out, dog. Put his face on it. It'll sell out, man. Yo, speaking of, you know that they're going to put his um, face on money in Argentina? No. Yeah. Are they really? I, yeah, that that's. I mean, it's a no. rumor, or I don't know how true it is, but they did it with Maradona. Yeah, they did it back in the is, day. Is they Maradona? put his face on like a coin, or like his his body on a coin. So, oh, yeah, the Argentina right. does have a new president. He and, might, yeah, he might not fuck with. Yeah, who knows? Interesting, man. But yeah, that I would be cool. mad at that. Yeah, bro, why, why mean, can't like, we get Messi money, bro? Yeah, I me- would go get it. I would <laughs> go get it too. I'll frame like, that yeah, thing. Messi money, but I mean, like Messi. If anybody in Argentina or South America deserves. To be on money. any kind of money in it's their messy. own country, it's messy. It's messy, dog. Bro, like I said, they did it. They did it with Maradona when he won the World yeah. Cup. Yeah, that's and amazing. So that brings another World Cup. What a like, flex! Hard. Yo, that's a crazy hard. flex. Especially man. while you're still alive, bro. Like, yo, yo, bro, you got a bunch of dead Come presidents on, on money. George like, Washington ain't seen right none of this. Yeah, I'm sitting right here next to my money. Yeah, which president lived to see their money? Crazy man. Which and anyone lived to see their money? Ben no, Franklin Messi wasn't even in a president, money. man, but he got the best one. Yeah, he got a hundo. Got the, the hundo, bro. Yeah. Crazy mess. Ooh, I don't even know. How, what's the cur- currency exchange out there? What is it uh, like? It's like it's like one to a hundred or something like that. One to a hundred. Yeah. What is it? Pesos out there? What is yeah, it? Yeah, pesos argentinos. Interesting. Man, yeah. dope. I rock with him. Man. Hey, new 2024 MLS match ball. Final answer, yay or nay? Um, I like it. I like it. I'm going yay too, man. Super fireball. Correction, the Argentinian peso is 360. So it's one to 360. Ah, yeah, interesting. Yeah, yeah. Our money strong. Yo, MLS Cup, it's going down, baby. Woo! This weekend, it is lit. LAFC, Columbus crew, playing in Columbus in Ohio this time. That's going to be... Remember, last time it was in... In LA, bro. In LA. So how do they decide who hosts? I don't know. Like, is this before or is it like higher seed? Are they doing like... But it East? can't be higher no. seed. No, it's higher seed. It's higher seed? Columbus fans with a better record. Uh, oh, uh. okay. So it's either the higher seed or whoever has the better record and Columbus had a better, better record. I mean, mm. the East was just overall better than the West this year, like yeah. on, the, on the table. So like... Even the best team in the in the West would have came in like fourth in the East with the points in their record, so... Hey, man. Off the rip. MLS Cup Final, LAFC Columbus. Who you got? Man, you can't count Columbus out now, bro. Like you mm. can't count Columbus out. Nah, but I ain't, also, I ain't say you can't count one out. I got. I'm asking who I you know, got. I know. I know. I'm. I'm. Ain't gonna be no tie. I'm formulating my answer. Sure, you <laughs> feel me? Like I, honestly, the same situation I said with Sensi. Um, even though Columbus is showing the late goal comeback team. Yeah. 
I still feel like if it gets too late or goes to penalties or anything, LAFC is going to just take it over and, and figure something out. You got to watch out for Buanga. Bro, I, I don't know. I think I think LAFC might repeat, dog. Yeah? yeah? You going LAFC? I think so. I'm going with the East Coast, man. I'm I going with like the undies, man. The underdogs. The undies. <laughs> Sheesh. Yeah, we go, yeah. Ohio gonna be crazy, man. Yeah. It's gonna be a party, and everything's gonna be closed by 10 p.m., man. Because you know they got they ain't got no crazy late night curfew out there in Ohio. Nah, so. 10 p.m. Everything gonna be closed, man. But hey. the streets gonna go wild, man. It's gonna be turned. Yo, Columbus, yeah. they've only lost one time in its last 29 home matches in all competitions dating back to August 2022. <sighs> Sounds crazy, but. They only lost at home four times in 2022 and one time in 2023, bro. So they did down. They it's don't lose a, at home. They don't. They don't lose at home. I'm, I'm going to say it again. They lost one time in its last 29 home matches in all competitions dating back to August 2022. For the last year and a half, so, bro. So, yeah, a year and a half. Though. year and a half they lost once at home. Crazy. Man. Columbus, That's insane, fool. Columbus also unbeaten in six straight home matches in all competitions against Western West. Conference opponents. Um, LAFC, though, yeah. they're winless in their last four matches against Eastern Conference teams. Ch- chips stacked against the West. So everything's right stacked against LAFC. And I don't know if you remember last year, bro. Mm. LAFC was about to lose that game. They were. <laughs> yeah, they, <laughs> they really was were going to gonna lose Multiple that. times they were about to lose Sheesh. that game. So... Mm. Mm, but they were also playing at home, so that that does add that little X factor. They had a change in keepers, who the keeper was a PK specialist. Hey, Amen. Mm. It worked out. It worked out. It worked out beautifully. Like that injury worked out in their favor. But hey, mm, it's looking it's looking real favorable for Chicago, for um Columbus for Chicago. Damn. Yeah, yeah, Chicago ain't making. Imagine. It. No. Nah, it's gonna be a long time until we see we'll Shot in the finals yeah, in the playoffs at least, man. Playoffs. Yeah. Uh, I got Columbus, dog. Yeah, I'm, ri- I'm riding yeah. with the East Coast, man. I know you got LAFC. Um, they're playing in Columbus, so obviously there is home court advantage for the final. One game only. Question for you, Big Miles. But there is one chip stacked. Mm, what is that? In LAFC's favor. All three of their games mm. against Columbus. Yeah. Three and O. Oh. Ooh. LAFC. So they got their number. Three and O. Oh. Oh, and yeah. the combined score? Mm. Seven nil. Damn, so they've been but, spanking that ass, dog. But they haven't played this season. Ooh. Okay, so is it? New so teams. we know, yeah, it's new, new teams, teams man. new shit going yeah. on. But you like, bro, LAFC uh, uh, historically against Columbus specifically, they got their number. So it's crazy. So the first ever goal for Columbus against LAFC is going to be the championship winning goal. You think so? I think so. So it's going to be a one nil game. One nil game. It is going to be a very low-scoring game. It's I can gonna, say that. It's going to be a 1-0 game. I think Columbus... Barring any mistakes, though, because you make a mistake against Buanga, bro. Buanga it's a wrap. will give you two. It's a wrap, <laughs> He'll man. give you two. But, yo, when Columbus, when when their defense stiffens up, bro, and, and, and they just get right in the back line, man, nothing's getting past them, bro. Facts. Nothing getting past Facts. the goalie, nothing getting past uh, their entire back dog. It's just... I think defensively, they got it on lock. Uh, I think they're too good for LAFC, man. It's going to be... I don't think it's going to be um, one. It's going to be a chess match, bro, right? Where mm-hmm. it's so. You ever play those those low scoring games that it just feels so tense? Oh, yeah. That you know that it take, it's going to be one small mistake from either team within those 90 minutes that's going to cost that goal. And it's going to be a counterattack goal. Right. You know? And like they just got to be on their P's and Q's, bro. Uh, mm-hmm. Man, uh, I got a question for you, though. Game is in Ohio, so obviously it's in Columbus. So Columbus got the crazy home court advantage, home field advantage uh, for the final. Do you think the game should be at a neutral site, kind of like Super Bowl, kind of like the Champions League finals, where like they already announced ahead of time that like, hey, it's gonna be that would be cool. That yeah. would be cool. But I kind of like the idea of somebody. It's super American. It like it's kind of reminiscent of like I guess an NBA kind of thing, home yeah. court advantage. Um, it would be cool though for them to have like a pre a predestined site for like a huge ass crowd, like the yeah. bigger stadiums that have the capacity for it to fill out. Because we want to, you know, to yeah. have because you know, say it's in the middle or somewhere where neither team is from. Yeah, you got to have a bunch of traveling fans. You're gonna have a bunch of fans that just might live in that city that yeah. just want to go see a cool game. And like, if they have it at the stadiums with that capacity for the most amount of people, it's a great look. You can get the most amount of asses and seats. So yeah. I think that would be cool for them to do it that way. But yeah. I kind of like I like the yeah. you know 
the better team host kind of thing too. It's cool because it, it guarantees you that you're gonna get a different vibe. Yeah, you know what I mean, why can't the MLS Cup final be like a Super Bowl? You know, why can't we get there? I believe we could get there, man. Mm. But we got, but we do got to grow though, because we're not gonna do that in a stadium like the one that Columbus has. It's because like, we have like a World Cup, we have a Champions League, we have a, we have so many different. It is tournaments. so many, yeah. And with football, yeah, with American football, there's literally just one. one. Yeah. You know what I mean? I you There's so many different major soccer tournaments, dog. It's yeah. like, it's just whatever is important to you. You know what I mean? If, you, if you're like a Premier League person, if you're a La Liga person, if you're a Copa del Rey, FA Cup, like, mm. you got so Even within the other leagues, they all, and even over here now, yep. we got the League's Cup, we got the Open Cup, we got the Campeones Cup. Mm. <laughs> the Campeones Cup. <laughs> we, got, hey, we got the MLS <laughs> you Cup. You always got to laugh at that. <laughs> <laughs> you. Yeah, yeah. But okay, so Champ is saying that MLS, like they could, they could, they could benefit from hyping up the the cup a little bit and having celebrities come and have it be more of like a thing. Um, honestly, mm. I don't know how this would work, but I feel like it should be closer to All Star Week. I was just thinking that right it now, be bro. Closer. I was just thinking that, like, there should be like little games and all. Like, I don't even know, man. Like. The yeah. fact that people are always excited about like the NBA All Star Game, yeah. not just because of like what the teams are doing, what the players are doing, but really the, the cinematics, man. Yeah, the culture, the the celebrities, everyone coming through, everyone going crazy on the sidelines yep. during the dunk show and all that stuff. It's 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 more about entertainment than it is about the All Star Game. Yeah, I mean, they, they don't go it. hard; they just like do cool shit in the All Star Game. Yo, let's get like yo. These big artists to perform, yeah. Whether it be at a halftime show, yeah. Why not? You know, yeah. why not? There'd be like a dope halftime show for the MLS Cup final. Should be. Oh shit! Like, imagine we get like a Taylor Swift. Like, <laughs> and I'm saying it, yo. No, no, and I no, say no, no, Taylor no, Swift no. in terms of numbers, though. Like, like, that, that, like that level yeah. of, of star. Yeah. Exactly. Or like, you know, we have like like a Usher, like a Jay Z yeah, performing, yeah, yeah. but Ike Drake performing uh, halftime show. Yeah. But like icon type of name. Yeah. Man, like I think that would be amazing, amazing for. And MLS now we got that mu- messy money, so we got you know I mean we got messy money. We have Messi himself, so we have the the pull now at least in the MLS to kind of. I t- I tell you yeah. what, man, if Inter Miami makes it to the finals next season to the MLS Cup finals, it's gonna be crazy. It's gonna be crazy. It's gonna be lit. They're gonna spend so Especially much money. They're gonna they get ha- the host. <sighs> Yo, it's gonna if my and if Miami hosts word. Oh Yo, they're good. It's gonna be a spectacle in terms of who's performing and who's showing up, yeah, who's going, facts. like, cause that's just the peak of MLS right mm, there, man. Hundred percent. To see the goat at the league's peak. Shit. I, I I really I'm curious to see what MLS is gonna do in terms of performances. They yeah. gotta be solid performances. Bro, bro. Inter, imagine Inter Miami versus LAFC for their third Ooh. final in the row. Ooh. <laughs> Could you imagine? Dying. Dying, oh my man. god, it'd be clout chaser central in that bit. Crazy man. <laughs> hey, so. Final answer, man. Are you sticking with LAFC? Yeah, I'm going to say LAFC got the experience. I don't know, man. I just got a weird feeling that they're just going to figure out a way to do it, even if it's not pretty, even if it's an mm. ugly-ass win. I feel like they're going to figure it out. Oof, that experience is going to kick in? Yeah. They don't yeah. got no bail this time to bail them out. Yeah. They, they, they can't get Buwanga. bailed out. They got Buwanga to Buwanga them in. <laughs> I don't work I was the same, waiting for right? it. I was waiting for it. I know. Build them out. I heard like the like I heard like the wheels turning and all trying to figure one out. <laughs> trying to I, got one, I got one for that name. He said, trying to bowanga them in. <laughs> <laughs> you stupid, yo. LAFC, I got Columbus man. MLS Cup Finals is happening this weekend. The end of the season is officially here. And you already know, man, we had a good time, man. We just vibing with you all season long here nice. in the kickoff lounge. And if you guys are new to the show, man, you already know we all about the positive vibes, man. And we call them by a certain name, and it's called Feel Good Tings. Yes, sir. We got one feel good thing, man. Bro, the Conme, Go- Conme Bowl game. Yeah. The the it was like an all star game of all the Conme Bowl legends, bro, yep. from so, back in the day. So real quick, so for anybody as like that doesn't know what Conme Bowl is, how do we explain that to them? It's just the the federation of. South, South America. American soccer. You know what I mean? You mm-hmm. got CONCACAF for the U.S., Mexico, and all these countries over here. Yep. And you got UEFA for Europe, and you got Comebol for South America. So, yeah. you know, Brazil, Colombia, Argentina, Uruguay, Paraguay, Peru, Who is Chile. It? Like, all those guys, Venezuela, they all play in that. So, it was a Comebol, like, 
type of just fun. I don't even know if it was a charity game, but yeah. it was just a game just for Come Boy. I feel like they were just all in Miami, like, yo, pull up, yo, pull up, yo. Like, it was just a celebrity. Yeah. It was like, like a celebrity hangout, game. hangout pickup game. It was dope. We had guys in there like Ooh. Javier Zanetti, Damn. Carlos Valderrama, El, El Pibe, Pibe. The, the guy, bro. We had Freddy Gu Guarín, another countryman. Guarinis. Yeah, yeah, we had Maxi Rodriguez, Kun Aguero, Higuaín, Mario Yepes. Damn. Usain Bolt. Fire. And the goat, Ronaldinho, Ronaldinho Fire. Gaucho. Fire, man. In there balling. You saw him scoring a penalty with the crazy back heel. Yo, I showed you that one clip. Yeah, one being clip, Ronaldinho, man. bro. Bring, like, bring in the Joga Benito to the game, just being that. You know that fun centerpiece to make it all just like stick together. Yo, you could just you could tell, man. They were out there having a good ass time. Yo, people love coming to South Florida. People love coming to Miami, even though uh, yes, and they played yeah. it at Dry Pink Stadium right I here know. in Miami. If I, uh, yeah, I where know. Where else? Well, technically, it's for a lot of deal. <laughs> yeah, I'm surprised Messi yeah. didn't play in this game. You know Yo, I mean? facts, man. For Super real. facts, bro. He was somewhere around, somewhere near. Like all of his, bowl, baker, all yeah. of his homies was there. Ronaldinho was there. Kunagueta, he was somewhere around it. No, oh, one hundred. He like, pulled up for five minutes. One hundred percent. And bounced. One hundred percent, man. Yeah, bro. Hey, man, feel good things too, man. We got another one, bro. It's holiday season. Yes. MLS Cup final. Yes. That's something to feel good about, man. We made it to the very end of the season, ladies and gentlemen, yo. Yeah, man. You gotta make sure y'all keep on supporting us. Follow us right now. Subscribe to us on YouTube, the Kickoff Lounge. IGs at the Kickoff Lounge. Hey, man, it's a vibe every single week, man. Yeah, man. The finals is here, bro. And we out here. Your boy Al Pizzle. And your boy Big Miles. We out of here. See you Thursday, bitch.